We do lots of things with words. We exclaim, give commands, and ask questions. One of the most important things we do with words is make statements. When you put forward a statement, you say that the world is a certain way. For instance, there is an American Dipper, or here is a Douglas Squirrel. You're describing the way things are. And of course, when you describe the way things are, you can either get it right, so that your statement matches reality, or you can get it wrong, so that your statement does not match reality. That, in a nutshell, is truth and falsity. Now, what exactly is going on when you say something false? Let's take a closer look. Here is an American Dipper and an American Robin. Not too similar, except maybe for their darkish backsides. Now, imagine we're out birding and I say to you, there is an American Dipper. No doubt I've said something false, but it's not yet clear what is going on. Let's say I do believe it's a dipper. Maybe the lighting is poor, or I haven't had my coffee yet. This is a simple case of being mistaken. We often say false things because we have false beliefs. It's just part of the human condition. But now change the example. I still say, there is an American dipper, and it's still a false statement. But this time, I don't actually believe it. Am I lying? Maybe, and maybe not. Let's say I have another belief, that you know it's not an American Dipper, and you won't believe me because you know darn well what a robin looks like. In this case, I'm not mistaken, and I'm not lying. I'm joking or teasing. For instance, maybe you misidentified a bird earlier and I'm just giving you a hard time. So when you say something false, it's not always a mistake or a lie. But that raises the question, when is it a lie? This is a wren. And let's say I know it's a wren, but I say there is an American Dipper. Now, why would I do such a thing? Because I'm trying to deceive you. This is a lie. So on my analysis, to lie is to make a statement you do not believe in order to deceive. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, boring, everyone knows what a lie is. But actually, I think there's a lot of confusion about this. To call somebody a liar it's not enough that they said something false. As we've seen, you have to know that they didn't believe what they said. In other words, you have to know what was going on in their mind, and that's not always easy. Do a quick search on the interwebs. You'll find that journalists are sloppy about this. Nearly every article I found about a politician lying emphasizes that the statement was false. But we can't say it was a lie unless we know the politician did not believe it when they said it. Politicians say a lot of ridiculous things, but as long as they believe what they say, they're not lying. And here's something else we've learned. It's possible to lie even when you make a true statement. Wait, what? That's right. I think that you can tell a true lie. Consider this example. We're out birding and I tell you, there is a wren. And it is a wren. But plot twist, I think it's a sparrow. Again, maybe the lighting is poor, or I haven't had my coffee yet. In other words, I'm trying to deceive you, but my deception misfires because I have a mistaken belief. Now, we said that to lie is to make a statement you do not believe in order to deceive. So this counts as a lie, even though I'm telling you the truth. That seems right to me. Do you agree? If not, fair enough. There's room for disagreement here. So we can do a lot with statements. We can tell the truth, say false things by mistake, joke around, and lie. But philosopher Harry Frankfurt, in his 2005 bestseller, reminds us there is something else we can do with statements. We can bullshit. Frankfurt points out that the truth teller and the liar have something in common. They both care about the truth. The truth teller cares about the truth because she wants to reveal it. And the liar cares about the truth because he wants to conceal it. But to achieve what they want, they both have to pay attention to what is true. Not so for the bullshitter, says Frankfurt. You see, the bullshitter is not trying to reveal truth, but she's not trying to conceal it either. Truth just isn't on her radar. Back to the birds one last time. Let's say I'm leading a group of birders, and it's your first time out. You ask me, hey, what's that bird sowing over there in the distance? Now, I have no idea, but as the group leader, I don't want to admit that. 
so without losing a beat, I confidently say, that is a turkey vulture. Now, according to Frankfurt, this is classic bullshitting. Because I don't care about the truth. Maybe it's a turkey vulture and maybe it isn't. What I care about is managing the perceptions of the group and saving face. So if it is a turkey vulture, fine. And if it's not a turkey vulture, well, that's fine too. Because my goal was not to get others to believe something true or false about the bird. My goal was to manage the other's perception of me. And that is the hallmark of the bullshitter. Thank you.